Howdy folks, welcome back. So I wanted to give an update on my machine setup here. As you can see I've got the uh, the tabletop mounted. So this is my, my brand new tabletop is all screwed down so the next part would be to uh, surface this tabletop but before I can do that I need to tram my, uh, my cutting head there. So uh, in order to do that I've uh, decided to uh, do a, a, a little technique that I, that I saw in another YouTube video. I think it was uh, CNC Machine Plans uh, was, the, was the channel and they had a really I think pretty clever way of uh, getting this done uh, quickly and easily. So I've decided to run their, uh, their little protocol here. Uh, so the first thing I did is I went and found a piece of glass. So you can see the glass under there. I, this is just a scrap from a local uh, glass shop. Just They just gave it to me. It was kind of nice. So um, that thing is sitting level on my table. I leveled that uh, from side to side. I used this little, this really fine dial indicator here. So uh, this one only, I think it's, uh, every, it's in ten, ten thousandths or something like that. So uh, I could see I actually noticed when I was going from one side of the glass to the other, I could see the deflection in the middle uh, when I had it supported by these little standoffs on the end. So those are just pieces of a uh, receipt which I cut up. Which are, the paper's really thin, it's only 2,000, so I got that pretty, pretty darn level. So you can see once the, uh, when the table gets surfaced, there'll be, you know, it's, this is why you have to surface your table, because you can see there's nothing on that corner for a support. I think there's one there. There's a big stack of them on that corner and then a few less on that one. So every, everyone's different. So that, But that glass is now level. Uh, and then I went and picked up one of these guys. So this, uh, this thing is really cool. It's one of these tools that uh, it, it's very it's a very niche tool. I mean, I mean this is not going to come in handy for most people very often. But uh, man, it, it sure does the job really well. And uh, considering the quality there, I think I think it was $100 on sale, so it really wasn't that expensive either. But this is two dial indicators uh, mounted to this nice aluminum uh, bracket with a with a, a, a spindle in the middle there, so it can chuck up into the collet of the router. And uh, once this thing was calibrated, I did have to calibrate it out of the box. It was not perfect when I started. So basically, just uh, uh, once it's calibrated, you can turn it, you know, front to back there, and then uh, and then make your make your adjustments to the uh, to the to the z-axis in that direction, and then turn it that way, and then uh, make your adjustments in in that direction. Uh, so I've already done that a little bit. I didn't do anything to this, uh, uh, to this one, and it's a few thousandths off. You can see it's maybe uh, reading at about 38 on that one, and maybe 41 on that one. So you're talking three thousandths of an inch or so across. They're five inches apart. So uh, I think that's going to be good enough for me. The big one though was this front to back. So now those are about, that one's at about 39 and that one's at 40. So 39 and 40, probably hard to see on the video, but uh, it was quite far off to, to begin with. I actually had to shim it out. So I had to put shims down between this plate and this bearing block. Uh, there's none on the top up there, but I had to put 30 thousandths worth of shim down there. Luckily I had a little chunk of shim stock and I was able to cut it up and. Uh, um, uh, I think it was a 10,000 stock and I, and I uh, got it uh, stuffed in there so it's uh, now it's it's very very close. Hard to imagine that this I mean there's no reason to think that it wasn't this far off the whole time I was using it and I I noticed that some of the parts that I cut had uh, a little bit of a ridge um, uh, where you could see the at, you know the, the the tool depth or so you'd see a little bit of a lip not much but uh, just a little bit, not so much that you couldn't sand it off quite easily. Uh, so pretty astounding that it was that far off. Now that's, it, it's 30 thousandths. Well, it was, when I started here, this was, this measured about 20 thousandths. And then, but I had to put 30 thousandths here because this distance here is wider. And this is about eight inches versus the five inches down here. 
but so it was it was twenty thousandths over five inches, which um, you know if you're talking a, uh, about cutting something that's three quarters of an inch thick, you're going to be talking. Uh, oh gosh, what is that? How many times does three quarters go into five? You know, probably something like seven, eight times. Uh, so you're going to get. Uh, uh, well, I can't do quite do the math on my on the on the fly like that, but you can see that. Uh, it's it's going to be a pretty significant difference. Uh, that that angle was pretty uh, pretty high, certainly noticeable. And now now it'll be it'll be super awesome. Um, that tool actually came in this nifty little case here. So uh, for a hundred bucks, not bad. So anyway, that's all for now. Uh, going to keep on uh, keep on going here. I still don't have all my power out here in the in the shop, but uh, I'll be ready to go once it does arrive. All right, thanks.